Hello people, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Gemma effects for Kerbal Space Program Steam, gosh darn it, and Windows, where you download it through Google Chrome Kerbal. So, first things first, you're not getting this mod, but there's KSP Arsis Extreme Textures. This will take you to the links. Now, this is the person I learned it from, so I give credit to, what is it? Un... U F I N D Batman. Don't know how to pronounce that. And you go to page eight, which no, oh, no, oh, page nine is apparently new page. Well, yeah, page eight. And you go to here. First things first, we gotta click on this link. So click on it. We had to download Gem FX. And it's, we're not getting it for this game. You go down to here. You go show. You click here. Should be a media fire download. You click download. Now I already have it downloaded, so you just cancel and you can get it all set up. Gosh darn it! I don't want stinking advertisements. <laughs> yeah, I hate ads. And, well, I already have it downloaded. So, let's go back here. Next thing is next. We need to extract it. So, first locate your install. This is the part where it works for Steam or Windows. For Windows, you go to your file explorer or on your desktop or wherever you have your Kerbal Space Program install located. So, for mine, it's in here. I already have this installed, so that's a very bad example. Um, well, that one's deformed. Um, no. Uh, so it's in here somewhere. Yeah, I have a ton of these. Uh, well. Yeah, you locate it. We'll just use why not this one. Yeah, it'll be fine. All right, and then what we gotta do? I'm gonna delete all these other mods for demonstration, just cause uh, I am um, not like them in there. And then you go seven zip or wherever you have. Where's mine? Wherever you have downloaded, I think this is not view in history or yeah date. No, that's oh, it's opposite. No, I like it where it's at the top. Date. There we go. Yeah, I have a ton of uh, these are mainly just Kerbal stuff. No, this is just school since I'm homeschooled now. Um, yeah, Baron. Well, it appears I don't have it. Well, you'll get it downloaded. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Wait, no. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. And we go. Well, it should. Look, I'm a bit lazy on downloading, but what should happen is you should, you, I'll download it, never mind. Go away, advertisements. Alright, and then, yeah, this should not take that much time. That's why I can stream now, I have much better Wi-Fi. So, we'll download that. And... Do, 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 do. I'll cut back. Well, I already have it downloaded. Well, I need to do this for demonstration. I'll cut back once it's downloaded. Since, well, you guys probably don't want to watch me download a file. No, very interesting.
Okay, so, well, it's almost downloaded for me, only eight more megabytes to go. Yes, these files are sublime text since I tried coding parts of Iron 4. Now, I already have it downloaded, but it should look like this. Yep, it's, yeah, just gonna replace that. Oh, you click on it. Double click. Alright, now this is the part where you gotta pay attention. So if you're on a Steam install, you browse here, and then you go to wherever your Steam games folder is. For me, I go here, and it should be... Mine is called Steam Games. Here we are. You go to Common. Gosh darn it, not Beijing. I can't pronounce that thing. And find here, Kerbal Space Program. You select that. Now... I know um, my guys might think, well, it work different for Steam after this point, or, well, when I, eh, came out wrong. It works the same way once you click OK. I already have it installed in here, so there's no need for me to do it again. But you click OK, and then you click Extract. And same goes for Windows. You find the install now. After this point, it, everything's the same, including for Steam. I've done it for Steam, so I have proof. Um, you go, uh, I'll find KSP, what, 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 vanilla, suppose, well, actually, no, it's vanilla. Gosh darn it, where in the world is it? Yeah, you, hopefully you guys do not have so much unorganized folders like I do. Uh, KSP. I've probably passed by it. Maybe it's... Here it is, okay. I'm gonna click OK and then click Extract. Alright, congratulations, you have it installed. Well, mostly. Now the next step is you uh, in your folder there should be GMFX configure which we're gonna double click and then we need to unclick every single one of these and we want true color shader we want ambient light and ALV vibrance we want 64 bit Use FXAA. Alright. And I don't I have no idea what these mean. All I know is two means your game looks better. So <laughs> that's the difference. Now me personally I do motion blur. Actually, and I do lenses and god rays. And then what you want to do is you wanna save configuration, load configuration, activate GMFX, X out of that. And then all we got to do is just load Kerbal on up. You should be able to even see from it loading up that it's already loaded because the one of the screens will look a bit different. It will have a glow to it. Assuming. Oh, here we go. As you can see, it already looks a little different. So... Yeah, and I swear that's blurry. Now, for me, I've been trying to get this to work for RSS. It's not my, my um, the, that it doesn't work for RSS. My computer, I have RSS Extreme Textures running, so my, my GPU on my PC can't handle it. So I'm going to upgrade my PC, but it's the same way. And when you do it in Steam, you, you just go here, click View Details, you go to Properties, Local Files on Kerbal, and in here you can access GMFX Configurer there, and it's the same way. Okay, come on, can you work with me? Here we go. You should see the Kerbals look interesting looking, because they have the little glow to them. Ooh, I like this. These lens flares and god rays, yeah. 
Definitely something I'm gonna use. Uh, oh, my burn. Well, you know. Oh yeah, that's right. We're using that mod. But as you see, everything should have loaded in fine. I'll launch a rocket to demonstrate. It's, yeah, I'm just throwing it together for demonstration purposes. Doesn't really matter. And I'm just gonna time warp. But yep, and then we can launch it. And there you go, you have Gem FX working. So yay, congratulations. Ah, the sun looks a bit different, I didn't notice that. And Yep, these kerbals look happy. Oh, I missed. Well, okay. Well, yeah. You get it. That's how you install it. I hope you enjoy and have fun. Once again, I give credit to... in Batman. Can't pronounce that first part. For these instructions. And however else that credit thing works. But you, you get what I mean. So, I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you have fun with Gem FX. Now, um... If you have a bug, and this is just a problem with my PC, probably not with your guys's, where when you load it up and you have incompatible mods or something, I don't know why it does this, but it won't let you load it up. Um, I think, I'm not entirely sure, it might be a bug, but yeah, it's a bug. Well, no, it's not a bug. My computer just can't handle it, so um, if you have those same problems as I am, See this thing here? GPU. Now, I don't know much about computers and technical stuff. All I know to do is go to Best Buy and tell them, you know, for example, for right now here, can we please have more GPU? So, yeah. Uh, and I am not responsible for any money you spend on upgrading your PC and it not working. I don't know. I have no idea. But it should work just fine. I don't know this much, so chances are that, it'll, yeah. And you probably be better for all your games, because, I mean, I know for me, I could definitely use an upgrade because of the new Space Engineer's visual update, because it's gotten quite interesting. So, yeah, hope you guys all enjoy, and I'll see you.